hey guys welcome to my channel once again and in this session we are gonna see how the DHCP works so in the previous session we have seen uh, what is a DHCP and what is the function of some DHCP servers so in that uh, D what DHCP really does is it will assign the IP address automatically uh, to the uh, destination uh, devices right so we will try to implement it in the Cisco packet tracer and I will explain you how it really works so till this point however uh, we have assigned the IP address manually uh, in the in the previous session so that is a way of uh, one way of assigning IP address which is called static way of assigning it so statically we have assigned uh, an IP address to every devices right so in this session what I'm gonna do is I'm going to assign the IP address automatically using the DHCP servers that is of a dynamic host configuration protocol so let me go and do it guys so I'm gonna need one switch and uh, similarly I'm going to need one three devices so let me go pick it so three devices are ready and uh, how to assign the IP address to these guys so let me go and have like 10.0.0.1 and for this guy 10.0.0.2 and for this guy 10.0.0.3 right so I have uh, I have to assign the IP address for these guys first and I have to make a connection so let me go and make a connection between these guys so one connection is made and the second one so followed by the third one right so I have successfully you know implemented one LAN network uh, so let me go ahead and you know bring the DHCP server so guys uh, for implementing DHCP server in the end devices we have one uh, uh, server called generic server so let me go and pick it for you so this is a server which is used to implement uh, the functions uh, like you know DHCP, DNS, FTP, HTTP, so etc. So we have a uh, multiple uh, functions inside the server. I'll show you guys what it is. Uh, see in services service dialog box. I mean in service window. Uh, there are multiple services as you can see HTTP, DHCP and DHCP for version six. That is of for IPv6 and TFTP. If TFTP that is trivial file transfer protocol, DNS and uh, AAA servers, NTP. So we will uh, you know look into that you know by uh, each and every services in the forthcoming videos. But for uh, uh, the time being we will be seeing only the uh, this you know DHCP server services so let me go ahead and you know connect these guys so just connect it so I have successfully connected the DHCP server to this LAN network so what uh, DHCP basically does is it will uh, assign the IP address automatically here I am not going to provide the you know, IP address here so I am not going to type the IP address here it will be assigned automatically from this DHCP server so what you got what you have to do is you have to go to this DHCP server and in the service dialog box you have to go to the DHCP and in the DHCP uh, as you can see there are a lot of options over here so what you have to do is you have to enable the service first of all and after enabling it uh, I have already told you that this IP this uh, assigning of uh, IP address automatically is done from you know a pool of uh, a set of IP addresses in the range of from the range of IP addresses it, it will pick one uh, address uh, dynamically and it will allocate to the end machine right so in this uh, scenario we have uh, one pool name that is of you know server pool and we have a default gateway that is default gateway in the sense I have to provide a default gateway right for my devices so let me uh, take it like you know 10.0.0.10 okay and uh, uh, say uh, in the case of uh, this one I will give as you know 120 okay so 10.0.0.120 is my D is the default gateway for this LAN network and DNS server is not needed right now so I am going to give my start IP address so my start IP address should start from 10.0.0.0 
one okay so my ip address range should start from 10.0.0.1 and i need to provide the subnet mask right so 255.0.0.0 that is a subnet mask for this class ea ip address and i have to give the maximum number of users so uh, by using this dhcp server uh, we can be able to mention or limit the number of users uh, which can be assigned the ip address automatically so in this case i'm to i'm going Going to give only 20 users okay so for only 20 users i am going to assign the uh, you know uh, a dy dynamic ip address so i am going to give 20 and press save okay so as you can see the details here are changed so it is having a pool name as server pool with the default gateway as 10.0.0.120 and the dns server is not there so uh, start ip address see as you can see start ip address is 10.0.01 so it will start from here and it will go to go still 10.0.0.20 okay so if i give 20 instead of 20 if i give to 20, uh, 200 then it will uh, then 200 number of users can be you know allocated a dynamic ip addresses okay that it will start from 10.0.0.1 so in this case i'm going to give 1d20 so let me go and save it and uh, you know just close it close this guy and you have successfully enabled that one so let me go ahead to this uh, pc uh, open this pc in this ip configuration just uh, we have uh, uh, used this static one right till this point so in this uh, 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 discussion we are going to use the dynamic one so press this dhcp and it is requesting for ip address c requesting ip address right uh oops see somewhere it is failed so dhcp failed api is being used okay somewhere it is getting wrong so let me go ahead and correct it first of all uh let me go to oopsie sorry uh before uh before assigning the ip addresses dynamically to every devices this server itself should have some ip address that is static ip address which is of some address say 10.0.0 uh say 125 or 124 okay then subnet mask is provided and the default gateway is not needed because it is no needed in this case uh, we have to mention the static ip address for this server for each and every server we have to first assign the static ip address and then we have to provide the uh you know dhcp uh, server pool ranges and all that is pool of ip addresses to be distributed among the end devices so let me go ahead and try it again so just go to the pc0 and you know uh, this is how it will be so i'm going to switch to the dynamic one so requesting ip address so dhcp request is successful so i have uh, you know successfully initialized the ip address automatically using dhcp server so this is of ip address starting ip address is 10.0.0.1 with the subnet mask of 255.0.0.0 and the default gateway which i provided over there that is 10.0.0.120 so guys uh, let me go to this pc and try to you know get the dynamic uh, ip so press dhcp and as you can see the dhcp request is successful and the ip address is obtained so this is how guys you will be able to you know assign the ip address automatically uh this comes handy when you are having a you know 200 uh, or 300 number of devices connected to a single lan because you will not be going to every three system and you know manually enter the ip address so in this case the dhcp server will come very much handy to you know assign the ip address uh, automatically so this is dhcp server which is having a static ip address of uh, uh, 10.0.0.124 right so guys remember to give the static ip address and then the pool of uh, ip addresses for you know automatically assigning the uh, ip address to these guys so i hope you got this uh, concept of you know the hcp server and uh, try to work more on you know implementing uh, on uh, two more lands or three more lands so that it will be easy for you to you know grab the idea about it so hope you guys liked it and please do subscribe to my channel and please stay tuned to you know for more upcoming videos and uh, thank you